Devdutt Mishra also with us uh, on the broadcast. Let's quickly talk about the objectives, the scientific objectives of Aditya L1. And um, you know, I know it can get really difficult for people who don't understand the terminology of science to understand these kind of words, payloads and uh, scientific acumen, in situ analysis, uh, you know, all the new words that people are learning thanks to Chandrayaan 3. Uh, but the payloads that are on Aditya L1 and the main scientific uh, objectives of this particular mission, Devda. Yeah, hi. Thank you very much, uh, TV9, for uh, enlightening uh, the viewers uh, with the scientific uh, uh, discussion. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Devda. Thank you. The dust on moon may be settled, but uh, ISRO is not settled yet. And India is also uh, very curiously uh, looking forward for the forthcoming missions, this Aditya L1. Hmm. Um, of course, uh, sun is always a matter of uh, our interest because, you know, morning we start uh, by reciting our uh, old age, our, uh, uh, what you call like this recitation. We offer water to sun and we start our day, everyone um, in this country and uh, elsewhere. And if you see in other cultures, not only in uh, India or in this uh, Hindu civilization, even beyond that, also people have given uh, from the ages, people have given a lot of respect and recognition to sun because we all know if our life and uh, livelihood all are controlled by sun. So without sun, it is difficult to uh, exist um, in this earth or, or any uh, where in this planet uh, you go. Sun is the main source of our uh, energy and um, it helps, uh, it controls and um, it actually guides the complete uh, solar system around it by its uh, pulling force, uh, what we call like a gravitational pull, because every planet, every uh, celestial body is uh, revolving around sun in either in a capillar motion, we call it, uh, because of uh, sun only. If sun is not there, means all the planet, uh, they will become rocks up. And you know, like without sun, uh, what will happen to us? So sun is there, so we are here. And all these payloads on Aditya L1 mission, there are total seven payloads, but all seven payloads are not meant to study sun alone. So, majorly four payloads are there, which is about, uh, which are meant to study sun. And uh, I think we have talked a lot about the L1. Uh, there are total five uh, Lang uh, Lagrange points, out mm -hmm. of which uh, L1 L2, L2 is just opposite to L1. Currently, James uh, Hope telescope is there, James Webb uh, telescope sent by NASA, because at L2, you cannot see the sun. And the purpose of uh, that particular scientific mission was that only it should not see the sun at all, but it has to see the other whole universe hmm. and to hmm. find out uh, about the exot um, exotic planets uh, and exo uh, stars uh, and and uh, and uh, so on. But at L1, the beauty is all the centripetal and centrifugal force uh, gets neutralized. So the satellite uh, which is uh, designed to work on that particular uh, orbit, halo orbit L1. Uh, it has designed to work for almost all five years, five plus years. All of right. Course, uh, of so course, that's uh, the mission life. The mission life is five years. Five plus years. Five plus but, years. But uh, in the past uh, several scientific missions, it is observed the, the satellites uh, was alive beyond the lifespan. Like, for example, if you see uh, Mars mission, it was originally designed uh, to develop to work only for six months. But more than six years, it was working and very uh, clear images it was transmitting to Earth. Same happened mm -hmm. for uh, Chandrayaan 2 mission, still orbiter is there, Chandrayaan 3 also is just now launched. So always it has been observed that more than the lifespan uh, the satellite has lived and uh, definitely this Aditya L1 also will prove that. Uh, but but course, in, uh, in, in terms of the main objective, which, which certainly of course is to study the closest star that we have in the solar system because the next star um, is, you know, God knows how many light years away. This is the closest that we are to a star. So what, apart from studying the closest star, what other scientific objectives are we going to carry out? Uh, there are several, you know, magnetometer, various spectrometers on Aditya L1. What is it going to study? Particles, uh, solar flares, what exactly is it up to? Mainly, see, uh, there is one uh, uh, aspect is solar flare. Hmm. You know, like solar flare is nothing like uh, some kind of disturbance or turbulence. It, is, it happens uh, on the surface of uh, sun, so far it is noticed. And uh, when it travels to Earth, you might have read in our um, geography books in school days, we read uh, that uh, Aurelius that happens in that island, uh, those countries. Right, to the right. So there, when those solar flare comes, they carry very high energy particles. And when it collides with our uh, Earth's uh, magnetic uh, uh, sphere, then that uh, phenomenon start what we call Aurelius. 
uh, and uh, this uh, solar flare or the solar wind uh, mm -hmm. lot of disturbance with the electronic uh, system because because our electronic system is nothing but uh, some flow of electrons are happening and some uh, functions are going on inside that body so if it is a satellite which is orbiting around earth gets more affected any uh, solar equipments or uh, power grids and uh, majorly our electronic uh, instruments get uh, affected due to this disturbance which uh, gets propagated from sun and right. reaches uh, right. to earth hmm. though our gravitational um, uh, shield uh, of our earth protect us but it is not that much sufficient that it can completely prevent or prohibit entry of that uh, solar flare to uh, our earth atmosphere so we have to study uh, the reason of that and moreover uh, as i mentioned beginning of my explanation that as sun is there we are there if there is something will happen to the sun after few million hmm, billion years hmm, we don't hmm. know because this, all the uh, uh, evolution started few billion years back and is going to end also because the circle where it started is going to end how we burn so like that also one day we are going to die but so people are not worried about the next billion years. That's what the problem is, no, Devdath. People are worried only about the next 50 or 100 years. The century is what yeah, matters to the humankind anyway. 